doors, they're, they're marching on the walls, they're looking around, they're seeing if anything is happening. So there are, the walls are one barrier, but then there are people who are creating, who are doing surveys or surveillances. Similarly, our body has cells called dendritic cells and they are called dendritic because the cells have dendrites. They have long spiky dendrites. Similarly, our body has macrophages which are also cells of immune system and we, we will talk about all of those cells. We will talk about dendrites, what do they do, we will talk about macrophage, where do they come, what is their function. Actually, you would see that macrophage is the one of the most important effectors or player in the immune system. So um, um, again, this is a bigger picture. We are not going in detail for every single cell here. But what we want to know is how this whole immune system is orchestrating when there is an attack. So we have dendritic system uh, cells, we have macrophages. What happens is this little happy bacteria or pathogen who has climbed in the body and is now having fun, that pathogen gets trapped by the, by the dendritic cell or the phagocyte. Most of the time it is the dendritic cell which is sitting right below the surfaces. So as soon as the pathogen enters there, they grab him. So what they do is they grab the pathogen, the dendritic cell and they eat it, eat it up. So when they eat it up, what happens is here is a dendritic cell or a macrophage. Whoever eats that, most of the time it is dendritic, but macrophages are present as well. So the, the pathogen has been eaten. Oh, it should be a sad pathogen now. So the pathogen has been phagocytosed. The, the pathogen has been eaten and has gone in the cell. Now what happens is the cell, the, there are multiple ways that the cell can react. We are talking in this particular case, we are talking about the phagocytes, which are dendritic cells and macrophages and B cells. We'll talk about all those cells later. At this, at this time, one phagocyte, whichever category it is, has picked up the bacteria and now it is going to kill it. So what it's going to do is phagocyte has phagosomes, endosomes and so on. So we have various um, phagocytes have various chemical vacuoles or vacuoles filled with the chemical substances which are fused with this phagocytosed bacteria or pathogen. When these two vacuoles are fused, the substances from here, the chemical substances are spilled into the, into this phagocyte vacuole. So these chemicals or digestive enzymes, they attack the pathogen and they break it up into pieces. So this pathogen is really unhappy. So what we did was, what the phagocyte did was, he ate up the bacteria, then combined the, the vacuoles or vesicles which have gotten digestive enzymes in it. And again, we'll talk in detail that neutrophil has one type and macrophages have another and dendritic cell has another and B cell has something. So the end result is the same. Bacteria is eaten up. It is fused with the digestive enzymes, bacteria or the pathogen is broken up. When that is broken up, that bacteria or pathogen, pieces of that guy are made to stick out of the surface of the, of the macrophage. So let us say this is this guy's part of his face, this is an eye and so on. So various components, various pieces of the pathogen are taken up 
put on top of some sort of a display system that hey look whatever I got I've gotten a pathogen. So it's like this that if this is an arm and I'm a phagocyte then I'm displaying some sort of a piece of a pathogen saying look what I got. So that comes out here. You would see in our future lectures this is MHC2 or major histocompatibility complex number 2. But anyways at this time if we just say that there is a protein which is used to stick the parts of the bacteria or the pathogen to the outer surface. We as a, as a doctor, as a student we should know how the phagocytosis occurred, we should know how the fusion occurred we should know how the lysis of the bacteria or the pathogen occurred. Then we should know what were the internal cellular mechanisms which combined the pieces with the MHC2 complex or with this weird looking protein and pushed it to the surface. You as a student should also know how the MHC2 itself is manufactured. What are the genetic ways of forming the MHC2 and MHC1 and antibodies. So we would cover them in our next lectures. At this time this is important that we know that bacteria was there, bacteria has been broken up into smaller pieces, chop, 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 we chopped it, broken it. Then we picked up pieces of the bacteria, stuck them on top of MHC2 and extruded them from the surface, correct. So now this phagocyte has something to show to the world. What this is going to do is a couple of things. One is this phagocyte in its excitement that I've gotten something to show, it's going to start secreting some interleukins or it is going to start secreting some chemical substances in the nearby tissue. Of course, if you have done inflammation, you would know that a part the role of the chemical substances involved in inflammation are multiple. One of the role is to act as chemotactic agents. Then there are other roles for example to activate different cells and to cause them to show different molecules in their surfaces and so on. So here this macrophage it got the bacteria or the pathogen broken it up shown it to the MHC2 plus it starts releasing interleukins. Again interleukin is a big um, subject in immunology to be able to know which interleukin does what, what is the function, which cell secretes it, what is the effector, where, where does it go and act on, what is the effect of the interleukin. So we would go through all of that, that this is the point of this bigger picture that we should be able to see how the signaling molecules are working. So here you are seeing the very first one, I am going to say this is IL-12. So frankly macrophage can release IL-1, IL-6, IL-8, IL-12 and tumor necrosis factor and many other. We are just building up our story. So right now this guy has picked up arrested the invader, eaten him up, broken him up into smaller pieces, showing the pieces outside the surface and now is releasing chemical substances. So these are like signals which are going to go to the other cells and tell them that there is something going on. There has been an invasion. So this is like a cop's car having a siren on it which tells us something is going on, give way, be ready. So it's the same thing, the macrophage is secreting IL-12. Now when the IL-12 is secreted, so pay attention, this macrophage, so before we go to IL-12, this macrophage is actually now going to start running towards the lymph node. So it's going to say, oh my God, I've gotten something which I need to bring it to the police station. We need to bring it to our chemical lab where we need to understand more about this thing. Just funny, the, the macrophage is going to take this and run towards the lymphocyte. But not to the lymphocyte but to the lymph node where the lymphocytes are sitting. 